Hey guys, the dude from Denmark here. So welcome to the first episode of Return to Ravnica, the new expansion that's about to come out. Today uh, a lot of spoilers have been uh, have been revealed, so let's check them out. The guy I want to show you today is one of the 10 guild leaders from uh, from the guilds in Ravnica. Jared Golgari Lidslord is a black and green legendary zombie elf creature. It's a 2-2 when it gets plus 1 plus 1 for each creature in your graveyard. For 3 mana you can sacrifice another creature and then each opponent lose life equal to the sacrificed creature's power. If you sacrifice a swamp or a forest, you, uh, you can return Jared from your graveyard to your hand. This card is of course a must have if you uh, want to self mill yourself uh, to get your, your creatures bigger and stronger. It's going to be a really annoying to, uh, to fight against, I think. Bridge Goliath is a 5-5 green insect creature with cost you 4 mana to cast. Scavenge is a new uh, mechanic in Ravnica, which lets you uh, exile target card in a graveyard, target creature card, and then uh, you can put uh, X11 counters on a target creature, where X is the creature's power. This mechanic can only be cast as a sorcery. So for this card you can uh, pay 6 mana when it's in a graveyard, and then you can put, uh, you can put 5 11 counters on target creature. This mechanic really seems like a neat thing, especially because it uh, involves uh, the graveyard, which uh, in this case isn't about uh, self-milling or milling your uh, your opponent and so on. So I think this uh, this mechanic is really uh, seems to be really nice. This mangler is a black and green 3-3 plant zombie creature which costs you 3 mana to cast. It got haste and, uh, and the mechanics scavenged. For 5 mana you can exile this creature from your graveyard and then give uh, 3 1-1 one, one counters on target creature. Guildmate is a 2-2 two, two black and green creature elf shaman. You can pay 3 mana to give target creature plus 1 plus 1 and intimidate on the end of turn. You can also pay 4 mana to sacrifice a non-token creature and then put x 1-1 one, one token uh, sapling creatures onto the battlefield where X is the sacrificed creature's toughness. This charm is a blue or red instant card which costs you 2 mana to cast. You may choose one, either you choose to uh, counter target non-creature spell unless its controller pays 2 mana, or you deal, uh, or Easter charm deals 2 damage to target creature, or you draw 2 cards and then discard 2 cards. Another blue and red card is a 2-2 is a goblin creature which is called Goblin Electromancer. Instant and sorcery spells you cast cost one less to cast. Street Spasm is a red instant card which costs you one red mana to cast and an X mana to cast. Street Spasm deals X damage to target creature without flying you don't control. This card got a new mechanic which is called Overload, where you can, uh, if you pay the, the overload mana cost, you may replace the word target with each, which means in uh, this case that Instead of you deal X damage to target creature without flying, you don't control, you deal, uh, you deal damage to each creature uh, without flying, uh, you don't control. This mechanic is really powerful, especially because it replaced the, the text with the uh, each instead of target, so it's a really good uh, sweeping spell for uh, when, when you want to clear the board. In this case, uh, it's an instant which uh, lets you deal X damage to, to creatures you don't control which is really nice with uh, this mechanic. The last card I want to show today is a white instant which costs you 3 mana to cast. It's called Rootborn Defenses and it also got a new uh, mechanic which is called Populate. You may uh, put a token onto the battlefield as a copy of another creature token you control. This uh, card also gives uh, your, uh, your creatures uh, indestructible this turn. I think uh, Populate seems to be a bit boring mechanic but I guess it's a it's a really good way to uh, to get out a lot of uh, a lot of tokens really fast. That was the cards I wanted to show you today. I hope you liked this uh, first episode of Return to Ravnica spoilers, the new uh, upcoming uh, expansion that's about to come out for Magic the Gathering. If you want, you can subscribe to me to follow more of my videos. Whenever there's a new uh, whenever there's new spoilers uh, coming out, I will make a new video. So if you're interested in that, you can subscribe to me. And until next time, have fun guys.